Hello everyone, this is Enzo Eigen, Elias for Loki, and this is a video on yesterday's whale frenzy. Um, and so of course we had this gold pool um, shopping event called Spring Cleaning, where for buying units you would get um, additional, I think they call it doubloons, the and these you could be used to purchase in a special spring cleaning store. So I went ahead and bought all of them, which thinking back, I should have done that because um, I actually ended up with too many of them and now they're sort of useless, but um, <laughs> was not thinking clearly. I was on stream with Dreamin' and Taters and Safra and it was just a uh, buying frenzy. So I did get a one star Deadpool. I was really sad to see that he does not have an awakening ability, so even though I bought him like 12 times, he's still at Sig Zero. Um, and then you go to the store and you can see what you can buy. So there's nine different bundles, each had fairly good. Um, Fairly good rewards in them. I immediately bought uh, Bundle 7 because having the 10% Tier 5 class catalyst obviously was one of the most important things for me to buy since that's uh, what I want the most right now is Tier 5 class catalyst. Then after that, I want to get as many 6 star shards as I could as well. And so um, the other thing that's really important is this bundle, Bundle 6, which had the 6 star 6 stone. So I bought all I could on that and it ended up with 45. Um, six star six stones and so after that I just looked around a lot trying to figure out what I want to buy I probably should have done a little more calculations about exactly what was good value and what wasn't but um, I really didn't I just went in and bought it and speed bought through things and so um, I did buy um, well the thing I really had to decide about was the two really expensive bundles and those gave you um, six star shards and tier five basic and the um, generic five stars. I didn't really think I needed those and so I started just buying up the uh, six star shards to see how many six star shards I could get just because of course then I could open as many six star uh, crystals as possible which was for me um, you know what I wanted out of this all for the most. So lots of six star shards buying and then I went ahead and bought all the tier 4 class catalysts. My tier 4 class catalysts are really skewed just because some I have like practically zero in and others I have, you know, 10 in the overflows. Just, um, you know, if you rank up the same character twice in a row. I was really happy to see that the, um, the inventory capacity has been um, increased. And then with the SIG, um, not the, the SIG, but the sigil, it really, really increases. And so it's great because now I feel like I can actually, you know, not worry so much about tier four class catalyst. I could really held off on some things. So I continue to look for all the uh, six star shard purchases. I think the mistake I made is I probably should have purchased at least one of these. Um, like the Nexus crystal doesn't help me at all just because again, my five star roster is, is basically complete. But the 2,500 six star shards is pretty nice. And in the end, as you'll see, the thing that happened was I ended up with extra doubloons and really nothing to do but get gold from them, which is essentially useless. So now we're at the exciting part of the video. This is the six star opening. So I managed to um, have enough shards to open up three of them. And so my huge, huge want is Captain Marvel movie to awaken her. She's already rank three or to get Corvus Glaive who I could awaken and take to rank three. And so that's what I really, really want. New characters I want just because of course has an arena grinder. The more new I have, the more points I get. And yeah, there's a bunch of other characters I'd love to have. Dupe my Mega Red, Guillotine 2099, uh, Dupe on my Namor, Dupe on my Sunspot, um, Dupe on my Human Torch, who is rank three. Uh, there's, so there's plenty in here I want, um, Clairvoyant. So I'm just happy, I mean, just, no, just hoping <laughs> one of these pools will be good. And so the first pool I'm looking, and I'm like, oh, nothing too good is coming. Uh, I see the hood, I actually really would like a hood, and I get Hawkeye. And so this is a first time dupe of my Hawkeye. You know, his signature ability is actually pretty cool. It does a, a huge amount of damage once per fight. And so, uh, I mean, I can live with it. Would have much rather <laughs> a better champion, new, or one of my exciting dupes, but that is who I got. So that's number one down. And so, of course, now I'm going in for a number two, hoping to get to again. Like the amazing pool would be that Captain Marvel movie or the Corvus. I mean, that would be like the ones I would really, I feel like, help my account. Um, not much else is out there that really makes that big a difference. Um, again, the new characters are good too. So I have 73 six stars. 
And so I'm a little over half. I think there's 132 now in the pool. And so, yeah, I should, um, yeah, I should have a reasonable chance of getting a new character. And yeah, the more I get again, the more I, um, I can put up an arena. There's a lot I like in there. It would just be fun to have. Annihilus, Sentinel, Void I'd Love. You know, Hulkbuster would be amazing. Um, just so many that I uh, still want. Even like a, someone like Elektra I would take. Uh, Doctor Strange. And so, so lots of things that would be cool. Um, and so, this one seems to spin forever. Finally it pops. I'm all excited. I see Nihilus. I see spider Gwen, who I like a lot. I see Ronin, who I don't want because I've already had them double duped. And it ends up being Ebony Maul. And so, that's okay. So he's a new champion. I actually sort of think he's pretty fun to play. He's just like quirky and strange and so I'm pretty happy about that pool to be honest. Um, just anytime I get a new character it's great and he's one I just yeah, yeah, I think it's he's pretty interesting. Okay so basically I've had one average with the Hawkeye Duke and one okay because it's new at least. Now I have one more chance to get to one of my my super big big uh, ones a Captain Marvel movie or Marvel Slave Ball. He's so incredible. Uh, I see Night Thrasher a lot in this Ryu. I like Night Thrasher. Um, you know, Neymar, Warlock, once I've talked about getting dupes before. Um, you know, I'm always like intrigued by the Ryu to see. This Ryu doesn't look too too great for me. Um, I see Red Skull a lot. I feel like I've been several times like one off from Red Skull. I feel like I'm, I'm uh, ordained to, to pull him pretty soon. Um, the Wasp dupe would be a pretty cool dupe, so, so nothing too exciting in the Ryu I see. Um, but hopeful, hopeful that it's going to stop on one of those characters I really, really want. Um, you know, again, it would be amazing. Purvis Glaive, Captain Marvel movie, would be big for my account. So I'm watching it go by, I'm like, oh no, Storm, uh, nothing's good on the reel, and I get Doc Ott, and this is actually a second time awakened on him. So he's SIG 40 now. Um, not the end of the world. His signature ability is pretty cool, because when you do the power lock, you get power drain, and it increases with the SIG ability. So, okay, I mean, He's my third best tech, so Ghost now and Warlock, and then he is on um, the other one. So, so after all this, I'm just like basically spending the rest of my um, my blooms I can at 457,000. Here, I should have bought the um, the one, but I decided to go for the 30 of this just because I like the tier five basic and you know 30,000 of the five star shards. I mean, it's basically a thousand of the um, of the uh, six star shards because um, you know three of them I could open. I get six star shards and a lot of them could be double the dupes, so I sort of feel like it's better value. Um, go ahead and open all my six stone crystals, trying to get as many um, um, science, I can rank up a thing. I really like to get 15 science, and I don't. <laughs> I get pretty good numbers of, well 12 is the most in tech, which is fine because I do want to put them to ghost, but my science is low, and um, what's the other one I really wanted? Uh, I guess skill would have been the other one. So I do sort of average all those. For 45 crystals, you probably should have gotten about uh, six of each one. Um, or actually, no, take seven of each one. Seven, almost eight, I would say. Um, and like always, yep, it always seems like the one you really need. Like science was the one I wanted the most. I got the second least on. But I figured, well, might as well go ahead and put them all into ghosts help my prestige and yeah she has a pretty cool ghost ability so I have this weird compulsion where I always like my sig abilities to be divisible by five I have no idea why I do it but I do so I don't put in all 12 I just put in 10 so now she's 665 which is again incredible you know she benefits from her sig ability it just helps to have it more and more and I think it scales pretty linearly so so just will make her or that much more powerful champion I'd love to get her up to 100. I think that's a, a pretty good state for her. Of course, well, 200 is always a dream, but but I don't think I'll put generics into her. Um, I did get new storm from the grind. It is level up, so I go ahead and use up all my rank up rewards and start leveling her up, which is great. Um, and I just want to uh, yeah play around with her. I like getting all my characters up to rank three at least. Uh, it helps for the grinding, and of course, it's also just you know, they're semi usable and fun to use. I've been playing her at rank one, level one, and she just doesn't do enough damage to really be that interesting, even just for testing purposes. So, I'll do the rank up. You can see there my mutant tier five class Callus. I had 19, which is great because that means there's none in the overflow. So you can actually hold up to 20 now, which is amazing. I had like six or seven tier four in the overflow, but now I'm 
at 16 and it's nice. Um, still have a lot of mutants. Probably need to do another mutant rank up as my next rank up. And so after that, you know, again, just to more or less finish with the spending. It was a pretty fun event. And the thing about this event, which which I appreciate, is that um, Doom comes out again, the featured crystal, 5 May. And so I'm going to um, go for him. And I'll probably go open up up to 100 crystals. And that will be 30,000 units. And so I'm at 19,000 now. So it's pretty cool that I was able to buy a bunch of units and get all these extra things because if not I would have just bought a lot of units so so in some way for me it was a great value well it was a great value because money I would have spent anyway I got all these extra things I do think I made a mistake I should have gotten one of bundle nine or bundle eight just because you can see I have 232,000 the blooms left I bought everything except for those two expensive ones and there's nothing else I can buy because uh, I bought all the lower bundles and so now I'm just going to get 232,000 gold, which is, yeah, I mean, like I say, it <laughs> doesn't really do much at all. So a little bit of a waste there. I probably shouldn't have bought some of the cheaper uh, unit deals. My last thing I do is I rank five up um, Ebony Maul, again, great for Arena, just gives me more points. And yeah, he'll be fun to play, so I look forward to playing him. So, so that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed the spring cleaning whale frenzy. It was a lot of fun. Um, if you want to see us in action, check out Dream and Stream. And um, we did it last night and we were all on it. And yeah, we just had a great time buying and watching each other's six star pools. So hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.